Okay guys, so I've got two medium ripened avocados. I de-peeled them and de-seeded them and I added them into a small bowl and then I got my egg. This isn't a free-ranged egg, I do apologise, but I added that to the mixture and then I got my clear honey, um, room temperature. I added two tablespoons of this honey. Um, everyday essentials y'all um, I think this honey only cost me like £1.29 I don't normally use honey in the house so I'm just glad that I had this lying around um, but yeah I am using a recipe um, I found off Pinterest for this homemade avocado mask um, I also added coconut oil um, I melted this in the microwave. I have four of these little tubs and I've only used one. I bought them for the baby so I'm glad I had them um, handy because I don't have any other coconut oil anywhere else. But yeah, I gave this a really good mix, tried to get as much lumps as I possibly could out and then I took it upstairs to the bathroom. Um, I parted my hair in two. Um, my hair is looking not so great i straightened it like seven days ago so this is what straight and seven day straightened hair looks like on me um so yeah i applied the gunk <laughs> the gunk i applied the hair mask in my hair um there was still big lumps of avocado in the mixture so i was just trying to like smooth them out of my hair as much as i could i didn't want to go too high up like close to my root so i just tried to target like the ends and the middle bit of my hair um when i did watch somebody else make this mask or make a similar mask to this um they didn't really ap apply it like right on top of their head um but yeah it I don't know I think the coconut oil must have started to set and it was making my hair go like really stiff um but yeah I'm starting on the other side now and this is what the end result looks like oh it stinks I'm gonna put it in a bun now so I put my hair in a bun guys messy bun um, I'm going to keep it in for like an hour. Okay guys, so I had to film the rest of this video on my phone. The memory card and the camera went corrupt for some reason. So this is the end result. Um, I've got a bit of curl definition. Um, I just let my hair air dry um, after I washed it. I just stuck this headband on. Um, it is quite frizzy in places. I guess that's just due to the damage and like split ends and stuff. But um, yeah, there's plenty of volume, or should I say plenty of bush, <laughs> um, but yeah, some layers are more curly than others, I like, especially in the under layers, um, the curls are more defined. I haven't, like, fluffed my hair out or separated any of the curls, you guys are just seeing it just more or less after it's fully dry, um, like I said, I've just let it dry and I've been doing stuff around the house, so this is what it looks like at the moment. Um, I think the mask did something to my hair. My hair is definitely a lot softer. Um, I didn't put any product in after um, I washed and conditioned it. I just left it how it was. Um, so maybe I just need to add a bit more like hair moisturiser or you know something just to hydrate my hair after a, after it dried, while it was drying. Um, so next time I'll keep that in mind. Maybe I'll get less frizz that way. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad I was resourceful and used some of the ingredients around the house just to do something for my hair. Um, yeah, I would use the mask again. Um, I think I'd probably switch up the coconut oil for olive oil and I'd probably try and blend it down a bit more so it kind of saturated my hair a bit better. But overall, it was a good DIY home hair mask. And I hope you guys like the video. Um, stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one.